Right-wingers were initially ecstatic following news that billionaire Elon Musk would be purchasing Twitter, but just a week into his reign as chief twit, right-wingers are already turning on him in droves, and viciously so. So what set them off, you ask? Well, it wasn't necessarily the $8 verification fee that he is supposedly going to be charging. It is a particular meeting that he had and how Twitter will police hate speech going forward. So Twitter's head of safety and integrity, Yoel Roth tweeted, we're staying vigilant against attempts to manipulate conversations about the 2022 US midterms. Read on for independent analysis of our team's work. Now, Elon Musk responded to that tweet saying that he spoke to civil society leaders and members from civil rights organizations such as the ADL, the NAACP, LULAC, about how Twitter will continue to combat hate and harassment and enforce its election integrity policies. Now, he then followed up by saying, Twitter will not allow anyone who was deplatformed for violating Twitter rules back on the platform until we have a clear process for doing so, which will take at least a few more weeks. Now, all it took were those two tweets, and the right collectively has turned on him because they don't want to hear that Twitter will combat hate and harassment. But that's something that advertisers want. So you're not going to attract advertisers if this becomes a dystopian racist hellscape more so than it already is, right? So he's looking at the profitability of Twitter and how to go forward and make money. And the right just doesn't like that. So they're not happy and they voiced their outrage. Tim Pool tweeted out, hey, look, it's complete bullshit. Lauren Chen responded by saying, why is it in any way part of Twitter's goal to combat hate or have anything to do with election integrity? This is not sounding like a triumph for free speech, dot, dot, dot. Jack Posobiec tweets, every member of this group of divergent views called for Trump to be censored while he was the sitting president of the United States. He added, keep your getter, truth social and telegram account up and running. Tom Fitton writes, the left that supports mass censorship of their political opponents certainly seem well represented here. Benny Johnson, who accidentally outed himself as a homosexual on Twitter, calls on Elon Musk to fire Yoel Roth, saying, you will never restore public trust at Twitter when the guy in charge thinks 100 million Americans who support America first are, quote, literal Nazis. And even Cat Turd has turned on Elon Musk, and Elon Musk assisted Cat Turd himself. This was one of the the first things that he did as chief twit. But now Cat Turd is saying, I admit when I'm wrong, and I was 100% wrong about Elon Musk changing Twitter. The new Twitter moderation council is just a bunch of far left fanatic groups who were never targeted here. No average Joes, no real conservatives, no one to represent the people actually targeted. Now, Federalist co founder Sean Davis points out, not a single conservative in the entire bunch. I don't think that there are any conservative civil rights groups, so that's probably why now someone responded to sean davis saying this i think he referencing elon is starting to worry about profitability and not ethics now even though that last tweet was from a twitter rando i just had to point it out because hmm this idea that a billionaire is prioritizing profits over ethics. I mean, to me, that just sounds completely unlikely. I feel like billionaires, almost all of them, if not all of them, definitely prioritize ethics and people over profits. That's how they amass their wealth in the first place, by being very ethical people. So that person is definitely onto something. I'm being facetious, obviously. So as you can see, they're outraged. And that's just a small sample of the outrage and backlash to Elon Musk. Now, he did respond to the hate that he's getting from the left and the right. So he's going to respond to people on the right who don't like that he met with civil rights leaders and that Twitter will continue to combat hate and harassment. And he also is responding to people who reacted negatively to news that he would be charging people $8 per month for verification. So he says, to all complainers, please continue complaining, but it will cost $8. Now, he also shared this sad Bojack meme of people apparently willing to pay $8 for a Starbucks Frappuccino, but not $8 for Twitter verification. And he adds, being attacked by both right and left simultaneously is a good sign. That last tweet sounds like cope, if you ask me, because I think that he wasn't expecting the right to turn on him so quickly. The right wants results. The right wants people who were deplatformed to be reinstated. The right wants Donald Trump back. And Elon Musk 
isn't delivering and he's probably not going to fundamentally change Twitter in the realm that they want him to change it with regard to hate speech and harassment because as he said himself if it's a free for all which it will not remain that way or will not be that way specifically then you're going to turn off advertisers. So he wants to make this a profitable platform. He sunk billions of dollars into this deal. So he wants to turn a profit, which is why he's trying to charge people $8. And he's, I, I guess, shocked and posting sad Wojak memes because people don't want to pay $8 for verification, but they'll pay $8 for, for a Frappuccino. Yeah, but people aren't paying for verification currently. So unless you could substantially give us a good reason to pay money to you, then people just aren't going to do it. So I love how his response is, oh, well, you know, it's a good sign that I'm being attacked by the left and the right. Mm, for somebody like you who needs constant validation, I actually don't think that he's just secretly loving the fact that he's being attacked by the left and the right and that he feels as if this is proof that he's doing everything right. I think that he hates this. I think that he just wants to be loved. And the fact that the right is already turning on him after they made him a hero is deeply hurting his feelings, deeply hurting his feelings. So look, I find all of this hilarious. I admit that I definitely did not want Elon Musk to buy Twitter, and I still am not necessarily happy with him buying Twitter, but it's kind of paying off in the sense that this has been very, very entertaining. I haven't cared this much about Twitter in a very long time, and I've got to say, seeing the shit show, seeing him propose these terrible ideas to try to find some way to desperately make a profit, seeing the right him, tur uh, the right wing turn on him, it may have made him buying Twitter all worthwhile in the end because I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. And I genuinely hope that the right continues to attack him because I love to see them eat their own. And especially after they boosted his ego so much to have him fall from grace this quickly. Oh, it's just, you love to see it. It's so great. So yeah, I will continue to watch and report on the shit show because this is good stuff here, folks. I'm going to come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the come zone. Come. 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 Come.